So, kind of excited. Um, this trip out here to work to Minnesota, I brought with me an array of some uh, some of my knives and saws and some bushcrafty stuff along with some stuff to get out there into the woods and set up the hammock and uh, maybe cook a little meal. I brought my little teapot and a cool little collapsible twig burning stove. So hopefully I get a chance to get out there into the sunshine and actually uh, try to beat the ticks <laughs> and go have a good time out in the woods for a day or two. But I wanted to make this video because when I do go out there to the woods, I'm pretty stoked about this little thing. Uh, drove by the other day on my way between the hotel and the airport and they had this cool sign up. And so that naturally caught my attention, being one of a collector of blades and axemanship and axes. So I was like, man, I better go in there and check it out. So I went in there yesterday, I believe, and saw this selection of Gransfors Brooks, and they had some Hultifers as well, but uh, I was most impressed with this selection that they had there. And so Schroeder's is a log home supply company that ships out uh, tools and supplies to people that build log homes. So that's freaking awesome. They've got a large assortment of uh, tools, like draw knives and chisels and every other sort of thing you could imagine. So I was pretty stoked when I saw that. But anyway, went in, checked out their selection came home, spent a day thinking about which one I wanted, and uh, here I also scored a nice Swedish uh, handle for Junior, my youngest son's uh, West Germany hatchet head that we scored, which we have been in search of a proper handle for months now, and it's kind of strange, but every other handle that we come across in all the hardware stores back home in Utah they're all backwards so finally I found one that's actually oriented and, and cut properly and big enough at the top end that I think this is gonna be real nice for him so got a nice hickory grass first brook Swedish handle going on juniors hatchet on top of his uh, little one maybe one and a half pound uh, West Germany hatchet head so anyway enough talking I'm pretty stoked this is what I picked up Boom. Look at this little badass right here. This is the Grassroots Books Small Hatchet. It's the smallest thing, thing that they make, that I've seen anyway. And I uh, watched a bunch of reviews, of course, of it, and decided this is definitely the little companion blade that I'd like to complement the rest of my uh, assortment here. So, pretty stoked. Check it out. Clean her off. But this thing is basically like having a pocket knife sized axe in your pocket. <laughs> I mean, how cool is that? The thing is actually tiny. So, it's really nice here. I'll give you some close ups before we go out into the woods. But uh, there you go, grass for Brook Sweden. I was interested to learn that uh, the initials here are those of the uh, blacksmith that forged this. So I thought that's kind of a neat touch. And um, yeah, it's got their emblem there and a really nice sheath. So uh, overall, it's kind of funny that it's so small, but. It also comes with this super cool book, the Axe Book, which uh, says they got the 20 year guarantee, but lots of information in here, general axemanship, and uh, even your guarantee card. How cool is that? So, let's 
So as this, as far as comparison of the size of this little bad boy, it is pretty remarkably small. Look at that compared to the Baco Laplander. It's staying near the same length. So uh, let's see if I can figure out what the specs are on this thing actually. Well, while I'm looking for the specs on this thing, a couple of the cool pages of the manual here are particularly this one right here. That's the Granfors Brooks Axe Forge. Four hours by car north of Stockholm, Sweden. And some of their forging processes. I mean, look how cool these are. Wow. Way cool. <laughs> it still looks like of the old world. That's pretty neat. Okay, according to their their uh, catalog, the mini belt hatchet uh, is ten and a quarter inch long and weighs eleven ounces, which is uh, about as common as your average hunting knife, apparently. And that's the price you pay for right there. These things are not cheap. So there you have it. Got the teeny little Mora Eldris right here. My, my new uh, buck, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I'm really stoked on this buck knife. So I'm probably gonna make a little video for that all by itself. Then we got the standard Mora, what, is, what the heck is this one called? I forget. But yeah, it's about how big that dang thing is. So. Anyway, it's my new toy. Pretty stoked about it. It's spendy, but it's a thing that hopefully I can use forever and hand it down to one of my lucky grandkids, huh? Alright, let's check it out. Let's head out to the bush and put it through the paces.